The great white has a very high metabolism, and it needs to feed on rich, fatty prey, such as dolphin, whale, and seal. However, this high-calorie prey often hides out in the colder, hostile waters, where most sharks can't survive. But the great white can increase its body temperature 18 degrees Fahrenheit higher than the surrounding water. The great white is not a cold-blooded killer, and the secret lies in its tail. The tail is the powerhouse of the great white shark and the source of its explosive thrust. It is jam-packed with muscle. Okay, so you can actually clearly see the differences in muscle types here. The white muscle is used for incredible bursts of speed and high-impact acceleration. But this raw power is not sustainable. Yeah, the problem with the white muscle is that it, it lacks the blood supply that the red muscle has got, which is why it's white. And as a result, it can only sustain those bursts of speed for relatively short periods of time. While the white muscles provide the short turbo boosts, it's these red muscles that drive the shark. They run the entire length of the great white's body and pump the tail like two giant hydraulic pistons. This continuous firing generates enough heat to warm the shark's blood and its internal organs. The tail of the great white acts like a blast furnace. By warming their blood, everything improves. They can digest food quicker. They can swim faster. Their muscles are stronger and more powerful for sudden bursts of speed to ambush prey. But this blast furnace requires fuel, 10 times more than a human. The small bony fish found in warm waters doesn't satisfy the great white's needs. So it exploits its warm blood supply to gain access into the colder waters where all the rich, fatty, high-calorie prey hide. The kind of cold waters found at Seal Island. 